Hey, what's up everybody? My name's Luke W. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the US economy and whether or not it makes sense to invest in the stock market right now or wait for the next stock market crash. Now, I think the number one question on everyone's mind is why does the stock market keep going up despite all the negative news we're hearing in the media? It's really quite disconnected. So I'm gonna give you guys three of my main reasons why I think the stock market keeps going up as well as sharing with you my opinion on whether or not you should invest right now or wait for that next crash. So let's jump behind my computer and hop right into this video. Okay, so we're gonna start by looking at the disconnect between how great the US stock market's doing compared to how bad the US economy's doing right now because it's total opposite day it seems like out here in the stock market because the US GDP right now is showing us in Q1 of 2020 at negative 4.8%. And that's actually exceeded what financial analysts thought it was gonna be they only thought it was gonna be negative 4%. So it's actually exceeded that and things are only looking like they're gonna get worse. When we fast forward to quarter two, which is gonna be in July and August of this year, financial analysts are estimating we're gonna be at negative 17% on our GDP right now. So that's just absolutely horrific, which again shows how backwards is the economy if everyone thinks they need to put more and more money in, the stock market keeps going up. Okay, just to back that claim up, we're gonna go look at the new jobless list claims that are topping around 33 million people are now jobless in the United States. And this is estimating on a weekly chart right now, 3.2 million people in just the last week, the first week of May pretty much, have lost their jobs and filed for uh, pretty much unemployment right now. So millions and millions of people every week are filing jobless list claims and yet the stock market continually is rebounding and going on up. And just to put things in perspective, the weekly rate of people filing for jobless list claims uh, before the pandemic hit was only around 200,000. Now it was up here near 7 million, 6 million, 5 million. Every single week, millions and millions of people are filing for jobless list claims. So all these people filing their jobless list claims is only gonna put more and more stress on the government to help these people and individuals, giving them government support, and that's gonna be more and more cost to our government all in all. Now we can go look at the S&P 500 and here we go, we anticipated all the bad news. This is when the pandemic started happening. Everything just shot way down to the bottom. We hit negative 30.7% at the low during the pandemic. And that literally dropped in a matter of a few weeks, guys. So that's when I actually put most of my money into the stock market and I was buying. I made another video where I said I invested here, here, and here. So I did get in at some really good times and I haven't really put a whole lot in as it's continually started to increase because I'm like, how is this even happening? None of this makes sense. I mean, we can go look at Warren Buffett who just confirmed here six days ago in May that he just sold all of his stakes in the four largest airlines, including United American Southwest and Delta Airlines, which had a net worth of around $4 billion. So that was just absolutely insane. I saw my Delta Airlines stock and Boeing stocks take a pretty big hit. But I mean, looking how the stock market's continually saying, who cares? Like, let's just keep going on up. It makes me skeptical to think, is there gonna be a stock market crash part two? So I'm gonna be on the lookout for that and I'm gonna wait for some opportunities to come on and see what's gonna happen there. But we can also look what is to come in the future. Scientists say COVID-19 might come back again soon in the fall and winter months. And on my personal opinion, I think when people are, isolating themselves, staying away, staying out of the sunlight, not interacting with people, they're actually weakening their immune system. So by the time fall and winter come around, they're even gonna be weaker and more susceptible to viruses and diseases. So that is kind of scary to think about and we might be experiencing that stock market crash part two in the near future. So with all the bad news out of the way, I think it's time to share with you guys my three reasons why I think the stock market is increasing so much right now. And number one is actually, you can actually look at it as a negative as well, but it was when Trump signed the largest bailout in US history of $2 trillion to be sent out as stimulus packages for people to hopefully keep the economy afloat. Now you can look at that as a bad thing and a good thing. A bad one in the sense that our money is now gonna be worth a lot less. Like all the government's doing is printing and printing and printing dollars that are basically coming out of thin air, which is making the dollars we have in our hands right now worth less and less. So 
inflation's actually gonna start hitting us a little bit. And on an average of 1.8% in 2019 for inflation, we're looking at 2.2 to 2.3% inflation rates here in 2020. And who knows if those models are 100% accurate with $2 trillion just getting printed out of thin air, our dollars are gonna to start to be worth less and less. And that leads me into kind of the news why I think maybe the stock market is actually increasing. And that's just because when you have a dollar amount sitting in your bank account, it's only losing its value over time due to inflation as opposed to if you put it in the stock market, your money is now tied behind businesses and it's not just based on a dollar value, it's now based on your company's value that you're invested in. So I think that's the reason we're seeing, number one, why we're seeing a lot of money getting flooded into the stock market right now, just because the inflation's coming, people wanna throw their money in the stock market and hopefully have a little bit more value behind their dollar. And I can actually show you guys right here on my phone, uh, pretty much my stocks have been doing really well. I'm up $2,000 right now, and it's just a straight green day. The market continually is starting to increase and go up and up in the Dow, in the S&P, in the NASDAQ. Everything is up uh, considerable percentages from where they really should be if we really factored in all this negative news. Another thing why I think the negative news uh, came so hard and so fast was that we thought, hey, this is gonna be the end of it all. And once we hit the bottom, we were like, hey, well, we can't really factor in all that much more negative news. So the only thing to do now is for it to go up. Like we, we just plummeted 30% in a matter of a few weeks. So uh, I guess nothing really else can affect us. We've heard all the worst news we possibly could. And maybe that's one reason the stock market's going up as well. But the idea of inflation affecting the money sitting in your bank account and how that's just lowering its value over time compared to putting it in the stock market is one of the reasons I think the stock market's starting to increase right now. Another is the fact that just like me, I'm able to now invest on Weeble. There's all these phone apps, there's Robinhood, there's Weeble, and they're incentivizing you. Like I have a link right below where you can sign up and get two free stocks. And I think so many people are like, hey, now's a much easier time. I don't have any trading fees. There's no commissions I have to pay. It's literally free for me to invest in the stock market if I have any amount of money and I don't have to pay trading fees. So it's making trading in the stock market so much more accessible for people nowadays. And that's another big reason. That's reason number two why I think everyone's hopping in the stock market right now. They saw the big bottoms hit and they're like, hey, now's a great time to get in the stock market. You guys see all these awesome YouTube videos and you're like, hey, I need to set up a Weeble account. By the way, if you guys do want to support the channel, the only thing I'm asking is that you please do drop a thumbs up on this video. Please support us. And if you also want to go sign up for Weeble, you'll get two free stocks below. And I think I'll also get a free stock if you sign up as well. So that would really kind of help me out. I've got about 18 free stocks from 18 of you guys that have signed up. Some of those stocks have been worth like $35. And that's just straight money that you can get when you sign up and make your own account here on Weeble. So it's totally easy to sign up. You can set up your account. Like I said, there's no trading fees and these are all FDIC insured up to $250,000. So if anything ever happens to Weeble or you lose your money, which is not gonna happen because this is a dang good app right here and really solidly backed. So it's just a huge opportunity for people sitting on the sidelines. Number one, watching their net worth drop because of inflation in the bank account and then saying, hey, it's easy for me to go throw money in the stock market with one of these phone apps like Weeble or Robinhood. I, I really like Weeble a lot, so definitely go check out the link below for that. And that is reason number two. Uh, reason number three, and stick with me because I have a little bonus reason why I think the economy's starting to go up and it could be good news for some of you guys and kind of weird news for others, but it's something I just want to really cover on the channel because it's been really questioning me lately and I'm like, what the heck is going on? So stick with me for the bonus after this reason right here. This is reason number three and this is just Washington state, but all the other states are planning on how they're gonna reopen their states. And a lot of them are having different phases. So phase one, we're already enduring in Washington state right now. Now parks are opening, certain things are opening, recreation's opening. 
Um, travel is starting to open. And then throughout the summer, we're gonna hit up to phase four when you can have gatherings of over 50 people, weddings, things like that. People wanna get back to their normal everyday lives. People have started to say like, screw this. This whole COVID thing is like a bunch of media hoax. So I've seen a lot of stuff, people saying, hey, this is fake news, this is crazy. We, there are people dying from it, but then there's also studies that show the amount of heart attacks and pneumonia and all these other normal causes of death have all gone down and now cases of COVID have gone up. So it's almost like they're masking some of these other cases. And there's actually some YouTube videos that have shown nurses and stuff saying, yeah, we have to put on the death certificate that people have uh, died because of COVID, even though they really died from a car accident. But during the autopsy, they tested for having some COVID in them. You guys can do your own research on this, but I just did a quick Google search of uh, basically the corona and common cold, and it says right here, common human corona, right here from the CDC. So it's just a buzzword that's been around for a long time that is used to describe the common cold. There's a certain strain with the 19 attached to it, but there's just a lot of weird stuff and I think there's a lot of unanswered questions. So I'm gonna to get to this bonus, which is gonna cover that in just a second. But all in all, I think the stock market's going up, reason number three, because the economy's starting to open back up and people are starting to say, hey, we're almost through this, it's summertime, go out in the sunlight, build your immune system, play in the dirt and the mud and you're gonna get stronger and this stuff isn't gonna affect you. So. Number four, the little bonus thing for you guys is looking right here at our guy who's trying to come out with the vaccines to help us with the COVID right here. But the scary thing is like, if I play this video, Fareed Zakari or Zakaria is literally talking about how the economy's bad. This is so bad. This is so terrible. And Bill over here is just like laughing about it. And it's just kind of weird to look at. Like you can actually hear him laughing in the background um, and he's looking like the happiest guy on earth while Fareed's talking about the world shutting down and stuff like that. So when you go read any of the comments here and you just can judge by the dislikes what the majority of humans in the population are thinking right now, like fun fact, no one in this comment section is going to get vaccinated. So, but there's been talks of the agenda of Bill trying to push pretty much the population control, things like that. So it's kind of crazy. Um, and I, I'm no, I know I'm, I'm not gonna go get vaccinated. I don't want random stuff being put in my body, but uh, pretty much you can just read the comments. I'm glad people are waking up to see finally who this psycho really is. Of course, Bill is selfish. He bought 23 shares worth of Monsanto. That's the GMO food producers. So, I mean, the world is waking up, we all know. So you can call these guys conspiracy people or whatever, but it's it's right here. Like the, the guy is literally cracking up during like when Fareed's saying, hey, we're, we're all about to die here and stuff like that. So, but that's just the bonus reason right there. Number four, people are just waking up to the fact that they've been lied to in the news. They've been lied to so many times. Everything out there is just a sham. And I mean, these people, these big, unelected officials like Bill saying how we're gonna open things, how we're gonna do this, how we're gonna do that. You know, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like we have a president that's supposed to tell us that, not some unelected guy who's trying to vaccinate the entire world and stuff like that. So, so that's just my kind of outlook on this stuff, but me building my own passive income on Amazon FBA and building my own life outside of what the mainstream has told me to do has only benefited me. And I don't think listening to the mainstream is gonna get anyone that far all in all. So please drop in the comments down below what you guys think about this and maybe some other reasons why you think the stock market's increasing. I know I missed a lot of other reasons why the stock market is going up, but I just hope it continues, guys. I mean, honestly, I don't wanna see a crash part two. I wanna see us get through this. I wanna see the US start developing its own medicines, its own vaccines, its own healthy things. I want natural food. I want my own natural garden. I'm tired of GMO. I'm tired of dumbing down the society and telling you guys to go go get a college degree, get in debt and all this other stuff. Like, don't listen to that, guys. Like, you have the power to stand up and be your own boss and do whatever the heck you want, okay? We live in a free country here in America. You guys around the world, go, you know, share with your friends, open them up to what's going on right now 
and see what they think because I think we can all come together and stand out on tops. And if you're interested to start making money on Amazon, uh, like in the last 30 days, I've done 20K in sales with a 50% profit margin. So my two week paycheck right now is literally $10,000. So I have my full Amazon course linked down below. I think if you couple a passive income source like building money on Amazon, which, which Amazon's literally gonna ship out the products for you, you just find good ones to sell and ship them into Amazon warehouses then they basically sell because Amazon has all the traffic in the world pretty much for people wanting to buy things online. Um, go ahead and start learning to sell on Amazon. I have a really good step-by-step -step course and tons more videos on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video. Again, please drop a thumbs up if you liked it. Drop comments down below what you think of all this. And I will have Weeble down, down below so you can go get started investing in the stock market. But uh, yeah, I think it's up to you guys to do this. Take control, take power. It's your life. You deserve it. Thanks a lot. Peace out.